okay so this video is going to be a uh, slightly different as i am recording this uh, on a cell phone precisely a uh, galaxy z fold 3 so the screen is going to be a little bit bigger than uh, your regular smartphone so i'm going to uh do a quick review of uh, an application called uh, emu uh, 42 actually i already uh, made a video about the 48 which is essentially uh, an emulation app for hp graphing calculators okay so emu 42 is made uh, by the same developer as you can see here Rigi cosnier oh look at this there's an update for the 42 already i mean the 48 hmm i don't know if uh i'm probably gonna give it a try and okay so let's uh go to uh 42 I don't think this is available for iOS devices, but uh, if you have an Android, then uh, you are in luck. So let's go ahead and install it. The app is uh, fairly small, it shouldn't take a long time. And uh, it is essentially uh, an emulation app for non graphing calculators from HP. It's got a bunch of them, like a lot of them. And the good thing is, you don't have to get the ROM files for these calculators. So every time everything can preload it already. So that is really really nice. The app is not that big considering uh, what it can do. Only twenty three megabytes. Okay, should be already installed. Then I'm just gonna open it straight from here. So this is the first page you are going to see when you open it for the first time. So you can mess with some of the settings here. So before installing any calculators if you change these settings then uh, these settings are going to be applied to every single new calculator you uh, you install and the good thing is you can also go to each individual calculator and change the settings over there as well so i like to keep all my calculator settings the same and uh, authentic speed that is going to uh, give you uh, you know uh, the exact speed for uh, the physical calculator for the most part uh, this is handy i guess i use uh, uh there is a, a very similar feature in uh, in uh, a different app called graph 89 that is for texas instrument calculators i use that if i'm writing programs so i can expect so i, I check that to see uh, how the program would perform on a physical calculator so that is good to know anyways since uh, this is a phone i mean you might as well just take advantage of the phone since this is an emulation app uh, the speed of the phone does not really matter. You know, you may have a phone, an Android phone from 10 years ago. It's going to perform the same as this uh, phone that just came out like a year or two years ago. So that is that. But anyways, it's going to be, uh, regardless, it is going to be a lot faster. So the layout, I am going to uh, leave this for none, uh, uh, leave this to none for, for all the calculators because you can only use the calculator. I mean, you technically you could use the calculators in landscape mode, but uh, that is not really uh, efficient. That's not an efficient way of using it. However, there are certain calculators that are meant to be used in landscape mode. I would probably touch those in a little bit. It's called, the four, one is a 42C. Okay. I don't really know much about uh, HP scientific calculators, but uh, yeah. At least it's a, it's a good app to have. I can still use them, but I, I don't know all of the functions. I don't know what they can exactly do when it comes to, uh, you know, capabilities. Okay, so the rotation. I Let's see. Portrait. So I like to leave a, a rotation to portrait because most calculators are me meant to be used in portrait mode, except for a few, like two or three. And pinch to zoom, I don't like that. Because, you know, when you are typing, sometimes it's just going to zoom the calculator. Overlapping LCD mode, I don't like that either. Because that what that does is uh, it's going to have like a, like a screen by itself and uh, the keypad by itself. Something like that. Show LCD pixel borders. So this is going to try to replicate the, cal the physical calculator's uh, display. So I don't like that. I mean, the advantage of having this app on your phone is... Uh, I guess one of the reasons is to, uh, to take advantage of your phone. So hide the status, the stat, the, the status bar, the status bar. Hide the navigation, hide the button. I like to hide all those. That's just me personally. That's how I prefer. It. And volume, I don't like loud calculators. A lot of HP calculators have a uh, like a uh, sound. 
so I don't like that very much. So I like to set it to the very minimum. Five is good. Haptic feedback. The haptic feedback on this app is really strong. It also depends on the haptic feedback on your cell phone, obviously. But uh, five is uh, more than good for me. Sometimes even four is good. KLM col KM KML color. That's just the background of the calculator. If you check this, it's gonna give you a gray background. If not checked, then uh, you are going to see uh, the regular uh, black background. Other possible color. So it's gonna. If uh, KML color is not applicable, then it's gonna uh, use the black one or the default background for your status bar. And I think uh, that's it for for it and print model i don't even know what this does exactly but uh, i guess so now that i have a uh, change or uh, that i have configured settings to up to be applied to all the calculators i can go back and i can swipe to the right and i can just uh, add new calculators so new and uh this these are different you have different resolutions for the same calculator so it's like two different resolutions for both i mean for the same calculator really Two, res two different resolutions for each calculator for the most part. So let's start with the very first one, HP 10. As you can see, the screen is going to be flipped automatically. Uh, let me make sure my auto rotation is off. So I'm gonna flip the screen. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna save it. You can, we, we can save it, we can press okay. And uh, it's gonna take you to uh, this uh, folder and uh, you gotta be careful because uh, you need to remember this folder in order for you to be able to retrieve your calculator. So, you know, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna leave everything default, but you can uh, go back and change the location. I don't even know what this was, I think it was a 10B. So let's name it, you can name anything 10B. And that has been saved. So if you exit the app and come back, it's gonna be intact. Okay. So I guess we're gonna be doing the rest of this video in uh, portrait mode. So this is the first calculator you see on the screen, it says uh, all clear. So that is the first resolution which I, I selected. So let me show you the second resolution before I do that. Let me just do some simple calculation. So this is a business calculator. Uh, since this is not RPM, then uh, it would just work uh, the way you would use uh, your everyday calculator. So if you put uh, an expression, like a calculation on the screen, you try to multiply by uh, something else, you press multiply, it's gonna pen back. And uh, you can put the next number and press equal, and then it's gonna display the results. So that's how this works. Again, like I said, he has a lot of functions that I don't know about. Uh, obviously, uh, there's a purpose for this calculator. So if I go to new again, I'm gonna select the same calculator but different resolution. So that's what that does. Okay, so the first resolution is gonna give you a, like, a, like a perfect look of the calculator, like you would see in a physical world. And the second one is gonna crop it for you. This is cropped, so yeah, that's the difference. So, needless to say, that I prefer using the first uh, resolution. I'm not gonna save this, so let's move on to the second one, 40B. So it works the same pretty much. Okay, so I mean, there's no point for me to make an entire video. I mean, or a video about every single calculator because I don't know how to use them. <laughs> Just you know, at a certain, I only know how to use these calculators at a certain extent. But I don't know all the functions. Obviously, no one can really know all the functions on a calculator. I mean, you could, but it's really rare. You can, you probably just gonna use it for the stuff you need it for. But uh, I guess, uh, yeah, that's sums up for this video. Oh, before I forget, I'm gonna show you uh, one that supports landscape. I believe is a 42C. And I think that's the last one. It says 42S, the, the Voyager. But it's a 42C. It says 42C. I don't know if that is a mistake. I don't know. I don't know about these kind of calculators from HP, but it's good to have. I'm not going to save it. So I'm going to go back to landscape. And I'm going to turn my auto rotation on. Okay, so the reason why you won't uh, go to landscape, that's because remember when I first uh, set up the app, I set all the settings to be applied to all the calculators. But since I have this calculator open, then I can just go to the settings and now every change I'm going to do here is going to be applied to the current calculator. So if I go to our rotation and I can do our landscape, there you go. If I go back, then this is going to be in landscape mode. So it's that easy. This is much more convenient. And uh, you know, this supports RPM, I believe. We press four. 
and uh, enter it's gonna put that to y and then uh, it's gonna ask you for a new value for x press 6 and then multiply that's how that works and uh, if I go back to my first one the one I saved then it's gonna switch back to portrait no there you go all right if you have any questions just make sure you put in the comment section just uh you know it's a free app which which amazes me these are these kind of apps I'm uh, you know I would easily pay 20 30 dollars for so that is that